Moving on to 27th question. Triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle in which AB is equal to AC. D, E and F are the midpoints of sides BC, AC and AB respectively. Prove that DE is equal to DF. Now moving on to solution. He has given that ABC is isosceles triangle. So let us draw an isosceles triangle. A, B, C in which AB is equal to AC. And it is given that D is the midpoint of BC and E is the midpoint of AC and F is the midpoint of AB. Now he asks us to prove that DE is equal to DF. Now moving on to the proof. It is given that AB is equal to AC. We know that in a triangle, angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Therefore here, the angle opposite to AB is C and angle opposite to AC is nothing but B. Therefore here, angle C is equal to angle B. Here, as F is a midpoint of AB, we can say that BF will be equal to half times AB, which implies AB is equal to 2 times BF and it is given that E is a midpoint of AC, therefore CE will be equal to half times AC, that implies AC is equal to 2 times CE, but we know that it is given AB is equal to AC, that implies 2 times BF is equal to 2 times CE, which further implies that BF is equal to CE. Now it is given that D is the midpoint of BC. Therefore here BD will be equal to BC. So now let us consider in triangle BDF and triangle CDE. In these both triangles if we observe an included angle that is angle B is equal to angle C and BD is equal to DC we got it here. We also obtained that BF is equal to CE. Now if we observe according to SAS property as two sides corresponding in both the triangles and angle included in between them is equal. Therefore by SAS property of congruency, we can say that triangle BDF is congruent to triangle CDE. When both the triangles are congruent, we can say that the corresponding sides can be equal. Therefore, here DF is equal to DE. This is what the required proof for us.